when we started this practice, one of our main areas of interest and focus is, is traumatic brain injuries. Uh, I feel that there's greater recognition for this uh, problem now and we want to be at the forefront and uh, want to help people who've had traumatic brain injuries. I got some really good experience with traumatic brain injuries while I was working with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I would be on the sidelines and this was a contract with the NFL and we would be a second opinion for uh, players who got concussed. We uh, treat a lot of other conditions. We have a lot of people with uh, migraine headaches. We have a lot of people with uh, post-stroke care. So it's a wide range of neurological conditions that we treat. My philosophy has always been uh, for myself, for my family, for my friends, and of course for my patients, is that the foundation of good health is good diet, regular exercise, stress reduction techniques, good sleep hygiene, you know, all of those kinds of things. Now on top of that, medications are important. If you've genetically inherited hypertension or diabetes, that's not your fault. It's just, you know, it's just how uh, it worked out. Um, one of the things I like to say is that if this was um, if this was a game of poker, you know, some of it is the cards that you're dealt and some of it is how you play. And so you can't uh, control the cards that you're dealt, but you can certainly determine how you play. For example, if someone has migraine headaches, we always talk about, you know, stress reduction. We talk about identifying and avoiding triggers. You know, we talk about those kinds of things. And then we talk about certain medications and supplements that might decrease headache frequency and intensity. So again, going back to the migraine uh, example, before I prescribe Topamax, or uh, Elevil, which are all good ways to decrease headache frequency and intensity, but they're prescription medications with side effects, I'm always going to encourage them to take magnesium and riboflavin and CoQ10, over-the-counter supplements with minimal or no side effects, um, because if they can decrease their headache frequency and intensity with supplements that have been shown to decrease uh, headache frequency, why not? That's a good place to start. And if, if I had migraines, that's probably what I would do.